Hi there. Today I'm going to make a very very simple uh, pike fly using uh, not many materials, but uh, but a very efficient and and a very very nice and well, well proven uh, pike fly. Um, as you can see, I've I've attached a tube here to my tube uh, tube fly system. If you if you use a hook, you can you can do the same thing. But but this fly works particularly well on uh, on tubes. Um, what we're going to use today is we're going to use some bucktail, some uh, Magnum flashable, two different colors, and some big fly fiber in red, and um, one of these fish masks, fish masks from uh, from uh, from from flyman, and that's well basically that's it. First of all, we're gonna take a bundle of uh, of bucktail here. Take a fairly decent amount, um, because this is this is one of the key elements to to the to the fly is, is this bucktail, one of the secrets to to why this fly is, is so effective. So taking a bundle of bucktail here, just gonna uh, trim it, get all the 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 shorter hairs out. It's it's not something that is of the utmost importance, but well, and then I'm gonna distribute it as evenly as I can. Uh, along the uh, the tube. If it's not completely even then uh, no worries about that because uh, it will probably just add a bit of uh, a bit of movement to your fly as when you when you when you receive retrieve it um, if if it's uneven then maybe it will just move a bit more erratic in the water so so don't be <laughs> don't don't go too much into that detail. Well, then I'm going to take uh, my pen tool here or whatever you want to call that. Just a part of a ball point pen to to uh, to push things back, like so. Just gonna hold my bucktail as tightly as I can, and then I'm gonna tie, uh, make a bundle of tying thread close to where the bucktail is, but not on top of it. I'm not gonna tie it directly on the bucktail. I'm just gonna tie it up to the bucktail to make sure that uh, the bucktail stays where I want it to be like this. The hardest part of this fly is not to is to avoid the tip of the uh, of the <laughs> of the tube fly needle. <laughs> That's a bit pointy and uh, and uh, well, I've gotten quite a lot of scratches as you probably can see from from it already. So, you get this corona effect from uh, from the bucktail which is nice. Uh, and uh, and uh, we'll we'll make sure that the rest of your materials will, will stand out and and have the desired bulk and volume. I'll take a bundle of big fly fiber, and I'm gonna be <laughs> fairly uh, take a fairly fairly. Oh, that was maybe a bit too much. <laughs> a word, <laughs> a sentence I, I rarely use when <laughs> when tying pack flies or musky flies. This will be great for a musky as well. And then I'm gonna take this big fly fiber, and I'm gonna. Distribute it again evenly, th as evenly as I can, all the way around the uh, the tube here. And something that happens very frequently to me this is particularly not while I'm when I'm using my chimco uh, bobbin here. Cutting off the leftover materials because, well, basically we don't have much to go before this fly is finished. There is a Norwegian, or actually it's a Danish pattern, a Scandinavian pattern that is called the Flesh Pike Streamer, which is a very very nice uh, pike fly, and it's it's uh, it was originally designed by one of the, the really really awesome uh, awesome pioneers in into pike fly fishing. Uh, a guy called Morten Valeur, and uh, this could be well, kind of like uh, what I would, uh, <laughs> how I would interpret that pattern uh, onto onto a tube. So, as you can see now, uh, I've made this. Oh, the bucktail just won't quit. <laughs> That's nice. It's just standing, stands out a lot there. Use some more thread here.
Like so, as you can see, this have have a lot of bulk and, and will move a lot of water without being a, without being heavy. There's just no controlling that bucktail. <laughs> I'm gonna control you now. Like so. Good. So far, so good. Now, next up is uh, is we're gonna attach some. Uh, so flashable. This is the Magno flashable, and, and the package here is just oh, completely, completely great and big. So, 52 centimeters, which is uh, awesome for, for any big flies. I'm gonna take a bundle of red, like this, pull a bit in, in some of these fibers here to just to try to get them a bit uneven. Like so. And this I'm also going to distribute as evenly as I can all the way around the tube here. That's not a completely easy feat, but well, I'm going to do my best here. Applying some thread just to make sure that this very slippery material is gonna stay there, stay where it's put, so it's not gonna, you know, be pulled out by by some some small pike's teeth, and then, and then the first cast that would be annoying. Um, just gonna let the this forward part hang there, um, and then I'm gonna add then I'm gonna add some um, some lateral scales in. Uh, in mirror opal, a very white, vibrant color, uh, uh, to give it a bit more, uh, <laughs> uh, give it a bit more pain, you could say, I think, like that. Again, trying to distribute it as evenly as I can. Applying some thread there. Could cut these strands off, or just those of them you can just reach. It, it doesn't matter exactly at what time, at what point you tie this uh, this uh, this lateral scales in, but but they are important, I think, because they add some some nice contrast and will move uh, individually uh, uh, and and in, in un, under other influences, under under other currents than, uh, than the rest of the flash. So so I have this lateral scales in in. Uh, Every almost every single one of my pike flies, uh, simply because uh, because it uh, it really really uh, gives an effect. I, I enjoy a lot, and I think uh, uh, has an impact impact on uh, on my on my pikes, on my pike fishing. So again, taking a holographic magnum in gold, doing it the same way as before, tying this so it's gonna be. All the way, all the way around the hook, the the tube, the tube, all the way around the tube. The reason why I'm not taking this and turning these yet is because I'm gonna do that with the with my uh, with my fish uh, f f uh, with my fly mask uh, to make sure that uh, 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 that uh, that the materials will uh, will have uh, will, will look and have the the desired effect that I'm, I'm going for so now I'm gonna do a couple of knots here the whip finish is not gonna be very helpful uh, at this stage on, on, on this particular fly because you have so much material hanging out in front that that is not gonna be uh, uh, very easy to make a whip finish here. Tightening that down, cutting off. And then I'm gonna apply a bit of super glue just to make sure that this stays where I want it to be. I take my fish skull here and uh, and don't mind if, if a bit of this flesh material is gonna is gonna come uh, in contact with the super glue it's it's gonna the movement is gonna be more than than plenty in, in the rest of the fly 
So 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 don't don't worry about that. Then I'm gonna force all the materials here backwards. Hold everything in place. Look at everything. See, is it exactly is it how I want it? Then I'm gonna take my fish skull, fish mask, fish mask. It's called. Apply that, and as you can see, you have a way of making a head that is a million, million times faster, quicker, and better than doing one of, of glue. Because if you're doing one on glue, then uh, then you will add a, an enormous amount of weight. And this fly is is made from uh, from uh, from materials that are light, that uh, will not absorb a lot of water. So this will be easy to cast, even though it is a fairly, fairly large fly. Uh, the final touches to uh, to attach. Uh, Flyman, uh, Flyman eye on both sides, both sides here, and then uh, of course pull out the fly of the vise of the tube fly uh, fly holder. Cutting off the leftover tube here. And uh, what is great about this tube I'm using here, uh, the Future Fly uh, 4.6 uh, mm is uh, the hole in this is large enough to have your uh, to have your 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 titanium, your not too kinky liter to to go across it. And as you can see here, you have a very flesh flesh uh, type of fly that is fairly large, uh, very easy to cast, fairly easy to tie, and uh, that will work. You could of course add some super glue up here, but but the, the, the my, my experience is. That that this head, when it comes over this uh, this tube, is uh, the fitting is so tight that it will uh, it will stay there. And oh, there you have it. <laughs> this color combination is is one of my favorite. But of course, you can you can do uh, you can do uh, flies of this type in in any any color combinations. Uh, and remember, it's just four materials, five materials. It's uh, hedron, uh, hedron, flesh, abu, and magnum. Hedron lateral scales, Hedron big fly fibers, all three materials that are only available from Hedron, uh, some bucktail, and of course these uh, these heads. And if you don't want to use one of the fly on heads, you can you can of course make your own from from glue. But well, uh, those were the words. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Off to the off to the to the water.